What is going on YouTube? One of the X from here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's Tech Tuesday. We are in the garage because we are going to replace that tail section with that sweet little tail cowling right down there. And I tell you what, I am excited because it's going to start cleaning up the back end of this V4 S Street Fighter. It's going to look so much better. We got a fender eliminator coming probably mid next week. So that'll be installed this weekend or this upcoming weekend. Ah, can't wait. Bike's going to look great, but we're also going to remove each one of these bad boys. I'm going to kind of give you a little rundown of how to do that because it is a little challenging on one side. So come on, let's check it out. Tech Tuesday. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like and hit that little bell for notifications whenever I do upload stuff because I try to stay regular. I try to do something every Tuesday, every Friday, and then the live stream on Sundays. Obviously this week was a little weird with all the rain, but we're going to try to stay on schedule with that. All right, so let's get into this. To remove this tail section, you have four little bolts down here, and then you have two more up top. Very straightforward, very easy to get to. Take your time when you go through this. It's, you don't want to strip anything out. And just like that, it's off. It's done. It's pretty quick and easy. All right, so if you look at the stock seat, you see you have these little rubber grommets here. Now, obviously, this piece is only a third of that, and there's not a lot to it. So you're really only going to need to replace two of those grommets. And luckily, the packaging that comes with this whole kit has those little grommets. And then all you really gotta do is follow what this seat right here already does, where one's inwards and one's pointing downwards, and you just kind of mimic the same thing onto this. I love this part right here. It is just so good looking. It matches everything because it is Ducati performance. This isn't a knockoff. This isn't uh, an aftermarket piece. This is what Ducati performance gives you. And most of my parts are gonna come from Ducati. Personal preference, I just like OEM. Now, something you might notice about the new seat is there's no screws in the top for this new piece. So it's actually just the bottom that gets held on and these little tiny rubber spots that are inside here, that's actually what really pushes into these old screw holes. Kind of interesting. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, there is the tail section. Look how good that looks the one thing i will say is this piece is a little wobbly which it's locked in it's definitely not going anywhere but i'm not a huge fan of that however this fitment is amazing the screws are nice and easy there is a little tiny tab up in here for this piece so when you actually slide it in right here you can really make sure that that's locked in but tell you what pretty quick and easy install right not bad okay let's get these guys off this is the easy side. That's the pain in the ass side. I'm not gonna lie. I've already <laughs> pre-loosened them. I've actually taken the pain bolt out. This is a little tricky. This bolt here, right here, is tricky because you see the clearance isn't much wider than my finger here and you need a very short Allen key because one that is this length is actually too long. You need a shorter one. But first, you wanna loosen and remove these bolts here, and that'll help take the heat shield away a little bit. Now there's another heat shield under it. You could probably remove that and make it a little bit easier. But for me, I was able to get it with this. You'll definitely need something along with this to help break these bolts loose because they are definitely on there tight. When I go back to the dealership, I'm going to have them relock tight these bolts because I didn't have any to put on these bad boys. So I want them to obviously put it on there and torque it down to its proper spec and have them locked tight so they don't fall out from vibration. But yeah, there you go. Not the hardest thing ever to do, but I tell you what, look at that. Look how much better that looks. Look at that from a distance. I mean, just imagine what this looks like when this whole piece is gone and the back end just beautifully clean. Ah, looking good, ladies and gentlemen, looking good. All right, so I hope you all enjoy this particular Tech Tuesday. It's fun to wrench on things every once in a while. And this is a pretty straightforward setup. And man, does it look good. I can't wait to get the Fender Eliminator on next week. I'll probably do a Tech Tuesday video of that. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell. So when I do put this Fender Eliminator on, you guys are there to see it. So with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.